will not just automate your Jira usage, will actually build an AI brain that knows everything about your project and it can adjust Jira tickets and Confluence and give you a lot of analytics and some deep research based on the work you have there. And first of all, let me show what it looks like right now inside my Jira. So there are some epics already created uh, and some user stories in some cases. So what we're going to ask here right now is the following. Give me the list of all epics in the budget tracker Jira project and group them into two categories, epics with full description and epics that don't have any description. As you can see, uh, here's my prompt. Let's get started. Claude identified that it needs to work with Jira, so it goes to find the project and epics. All right, as you can see, it has found all the epics, and as I asked it, it grouped into epics with full description and epics without description here. All right, and it gives me some additional information. Now, what can we do here? We will work with one of these epics. Let's, for example, take this one. Based on the attached documents in the project, write the full description to the following epic and let it work. So, as you can see, I asked it to go and read through all the transcripts and all the discussions we had about this specific feature. And if it can find it, it will write out the epic and will create it inside Jira or update the existing ticket with the description. Now, here's an important point. As you can see, Claude asks me if I want to allow it to update Jira. And this is a human in the middle concept. So I'll click allow once and it goes to update the Jira issue right now. So as you can see, it went and updated and even verified that it updated it correctly and everything was saved. Here's a quick summary uh, of everything it did. Okay, let's check uh, what it's updated in the ticket. Here's the ticket that we were working with. And as you can see, here's the whole fully written description, business value, user need, what's in the scope, what's out of scope. And this is all based on the transcripts that we had with the customer. It's not something that it's just hallucinated. Acceptance criteria, uh, some user stories that uh, may be related to this and dependencies. Of course, if you will write a more specific prompt on how to write these descriptions, you may get only the required sections in, in the epic description. 